It is one of the deadliest attacks in years on Israeli soil. The incident took place in the southern city of Beersheba, outside a petrol station and shopping center. A Palestinian man rammed his car into one person and stabbed several others. He was shot dead by a passerby. Health authorities have confirmed the death of at least four people, and several others were gravely wounded. Five casualties were brought here. Three of them were in critical condition, and after resuscitation efforts by multiple teams, we unfortunately had to determine their deaths. Two other victims in their 40s arrived in critical but stable condition. Images are coming in from social media in which a passerby can be seen kicking the assailant. Passersby are yelling insults and one woman can be heard shouting, kill him. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Gaza-based Palestinian group Hamas praised the attack. Hazem Qasim, a spokesman for the group, said the attack was a response to the policy of ethnic displacement against the Palestinian citizens of Israel. The Israeli authorities said the assailant was known to police. Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett issued a statement of condolences and promised to work with heavy hand against those who commit terror. Stabbing attacks are commonplace in East Jerusalem, which was annexed by Israel in 1967. Attacks in or near settlements in the occupied West Bank are also frequent. But there have been tensions in the Negev too, and as the holy month of Ramadan approaches, the latest attack could augur yet more tensions in this divided land.